Arthal Gusavi of India, and we are the custodian of the monuments in India. And I am, I, I and my team, we are the custodian of monuments in Madhya Pradesh. Well, this is not new to us, the social responsibility or corporate responsibility. The corporate is something new which has recently come in. But we have been working with the community in the presence or within the buffer zone of our monuments. Well, we are not as large an organization as the forest. And I am really impressed with Saxena Saab, his communication. And I have heard him previously too have, is the heritage. What has been inherited? And it is the duty of not only us archaeologists, conservators, or the custodian of the heritage to look after the monuments, but it's basically the full society and the immediate com uh, community surrounding the presence which need to conserve, preserve these monuments. But is, really, is it really happening like that? No. Whenever you ask anyone, anybody, they would say it's a responsibility of the government and the maximum negative coverage that what we get in the press is ASI. Ye nahi karta hai, wo nahi hota hai, log jake vandalize kar dete hai, lik dete hai. Why is it happening? Why are we not able to communicate? Is it a lacuna on us as an institution? Or is it the lacuna of the education system at large? Because har ek aadmi apne maa ko respect karta hai, dada ko respect karta hai, par dada ko respect karta hai. But when it comes to something which is tangible, जो सामने खड़ा हुआ है उसको हम लोग या तो समझ नहीं पाते हैं या कंजर्व नहीं कर पाते हैं तो इवन वी इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हम लोग कभी जब कंजर्वेशन करते हैं वी टेंट टू डू रिस्टोरेशन वी आर स्टिल नॉट वेरी क्लियर अमंग द साइट मैनेजर्स व्हाट इज रिस्टोरेशन व्हाट इज कंजर्वेशन एंड हाउ मच वी नीड टू डू वी फॉलो द चार्टर्स वी फॉलो द यूनिस्को गाइडलाइंस वी फॉलो द नेशनल चार्टर बट ऑल ऑफ देम आर नॉट एप्लीकेबल एवरीवे Sometimes some of our monuments are within the forest. Suppose अगर एक monument जो forest में है, उसको आप कुछ मत करो. It may look viran. जैसा साहब ने मुझे अभी बोला गिनोलगर के बारे में, वैसे भिंबट का भी है. But you see, even if you don't touch the monument, conserve the monument, or allow the tourists to go, it is preserved. But we talk of tourism, we talk of heritage management, we talk of many modern educative education. के थ्रू जो हम लोग करते हैं द लिटरेट पीपल हु गो टू दिस मोनूमेंट्स दे टेन टू डिस्ट्रॉय द वेरी स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट दे आर गोइंग टू सी वी ऑलवेज टॉक ऑफ टूरिज्म आई एम वेरी कंजर्वेटिव सो इज माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी से ओके टूरिज्म कैन बी प्रैक्टिस बट नॉट इन द कोर बट इन द बफर डेफिनेटली बट वी डोंट हैव द लॉज और द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज स्ट्रेजेंट एज द फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट But we see that Bimbetka, being within the Ratapani sanctuary, is very well preserved. But what is a problem is dual management. Whenever you do have dual management, then it's called sharing of responsibilities. We always pass on the buck on the others. We do our work, they do their work. But when two officials do not communicate up or even down the line, there is a communication gap. So we have to address all this thing to preserve. To conserve the heritage, which is inherited and belongs to all of us, and now we have got the social responsibility that is coming in. But before that, we had many players who wanted to invest, who wanted to take up conservation. But we always used to say, no, we will carry out the conservation. You can fund us because unless the expertise is developed in the market, in institution, we would not hand over our property to them. But now things are changing. We always ASI thought we are the owners. In a way, it was good. From the British period, we have been established in 1861. We have been able to keep it the way it is. But now we want to open up. But not all of us. We in the institution itself are debating. We have to see how much can we allow the tourists, how much can we allow conservation, and how much can we allow the corporate sectors to invest in our. Uh, property because whenever I think I don't know whether corporate sectors are here or not because जब भी कुछ लोग funds देते हैं जैसे मैडम ने morning बोला हमको funds की जरूरत नहीं है सही भी at places we do not need funds but we need technical expertise 
we need people who are very good managers who can interact with us and preserve not the core we are responsible for the core because we have got certain rules and regulation but what is happening is we are denuding the buffer and we have got a act which is really not understood by many people because we say within 100 meters no construction no mining and then the issue notices i guess most of you who are from the administration they will be getting notices signed by us then in, we say next 300 meters the prisons we can conserve we can have construction but with certain regulation so what is happening in immediate 100 meters most of the communities are against us everyone wants to expand everyone wants to construct so jab bhi humko notice dete hain so you see the conflict is coming in so this is conflict resolution may we want people who are a third party who are ngos who are people like anuradha madam who can come up with some more like minded people we had morning people open from the political people who can volunteer but we are not able to get or gel together and get this going so i have got a presentation which i don't think so i need to go through but still i'll be showing you we have got very uh, uh, large number of monuments but all over the country our mandate is excavation exploration conservation maintenance but the most important thing is creating awareness which we are lacking so if we have a corporate sectors who have got some big budget who can get shahrukh khan amir khan people like that or even tourism department they do it they are not able to do it if we can get those people in to make a documentary for us to have a proper signage at our site and then why not when we go abroad most of us have gone abroad we go out there we appreciate oh rome beautiful oh venice classic the conservation is very good all of us have been exposed we have got monuments of magnitude or dimension much larger than them why are they not able to do it here but if you have a short sight just look at the monument monument by itself is preserved what is lacking is its immediate presence its surrounding and the apartments the dwellings the curio shops what we are not able to get through to them we have to depend on the local administration we have to depend on the state government but many times when we approach them they say it's not our baby it's asl responsibility why are we not able to communicate to the people of madhya pradesh because i represent madhya pradesh that this heritage is not our culture survey of india's this heritage belongs to us we the people we the state we the community and we other departments i have no cooperation maybe at a personal level yes but when it comes down the line no we not able to communicate sakshi sir i think we need to interact yes. and most of us really don't do bimbet ka mein pani ka problem hai because there are five two people you can sort it out only we need to talk yeah. once we have a forum like this because generally i make a technical presentation i am very good at it i talk of uh, conservation i talk of preservation i get a clap that's of no use at all if we don't communicate with each one of us the corporate the organizers the senior government servants nothing can happen in our monuments and this one platform which under the ma'am gave me i feel this is the right platform to speak interdisciplinary not only to the corporate but to also my colleague in the government and monuments in madhya pradesh well we have got mandu we have got iconic uh, three world heritage sites but those world heritage sites are not enough by themselves we have got 50 more iconic structures we have got 290 monuments within the state so all of them have got a caliber of national importance but it's not known to so only five dust monuments ko hum log project karte hain chandri ko project karte hain khajrao ko karte hain maybe baat ko karte hain but what about others so kindly any person who's from the film who's from any corporate sectors who want to even invest in the conservation we can look into that so it's a protected area and the buffer zone in the protected area conservation be carried out by us we really don't need the funds but we need the people involved who are funding who have a cloud who can communicate to a larger level that this is what is ours so i don't want to keep harping on ours theirs our it's basically ours so the the problem with us is the act what we have brought into force but it's a act of the parliament it's a very idealistic act but very futuristic 
सौ मीटर में कुछ नहीं करने का है बट रिपेयर कर सकते हैं बट दिस इज वॉट कैन नॉट बी कम्युनिकेट बिकॉज यू डोंट गेट रियल सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन और अदर लाइक मॉन्टेड गवर्नमेंट एजेंसीज सो वी हैव गॉट एजेंसी विच इज कॉल्ड विच इज अ बफर बिटवीन अस कॉर्पोरेट हाउस एंड ए एस आई कॉल द नेशनल कल्चरल फंड इफ एनी कॉर्पोरेट पीपल वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट दे कैन गो टू द एन सी एफ नेशनल कल्चरल फंड एंड थ्रू दैन वी कैन कैरी आउट द कंजर्वेशन वर्क This is NCF. It's there on the net. You can go through that. You get the income tax rebate. And uh, well, I have heard that Mr. Chakravarti is coming tomorrow with the NTPC's uh, uh, investment or uh, their contribution. We are carrying out the work conserving the monument at, at Mandu, Hoshang Shah. Hoshang Shah is a very important monument. Why it's important? Because it's uh, it's uh, a, a marble structure, a marble monument, complete. Which predates Taj Mahal. People talk of Taj. People talk of Mayan tomb. But it's the Hoshang Shah's tomb at uh, at Mandu, which is the monument which was the inscriptions there, where the architects had come to get inspired, and then they have planned their the beauty at Taj. So what predates? What is as important as what is later work? So in Hoshang Shah, NTPC is coming forward. Funding it, but that fund is not enough, and we don't have to say that NTPC has funded because I was flying in one. Uh, I saw the flight magazine. I'm not naming them, but I will let me name them. ONGC. The ad says we are maintaining the monument. Can an ONGC just by giving us some amount of money maintain the monuments? They should say we are funding the monuments. So that's what was called with the branding. So all of us, if we need to get to, if we get together, definitely such things. Can be overlooked or can be brought on board and carried out the work. So maybe tomorrow, Mr. Chakravarti will make presentation on Hoshang Shah, and these are the details which we will be looking into, which I don't have to talk about right now. The second major project that what we are doing is with IOF. Here we are developing the tourist infrastructure facilities at Khajuraho. At Khajuraho, if you go and see the Khajuraho by themselves, they are world heritage. We have got many awards for that. But now, go outside and see how many unhygienic conditions are there. Apart from the five-star hotel. Three, four, five. The Khajuraho, uh, the monuments. What is there? You see the sanitation. You see uh, the drainage. All that what we spoke of. The ladies who spoke. The other condition that what spoke. Are all existing there, which all the corporate sectors through the district administration can look into that. Maybe that's not my expertise. I am a site manager. I carry out conservation. But the presence of the monument have to be looked into. Only then can they can they be called as world class. We have these operation guidelines of UNESCO. We do everything. Periodical reporting we do. But where we lose out is the buffer zone, which needs to be addressed, and that can be addressed through the corporate sectors or like-minded government institution with whom we have not been able to break the ice because of our maybe own egos. I am ready to call corporate. I am ready to go to them, but it's not other way around. Because down the line, you have got ego. Because after department, there are department. And for you say, kindly don't refer me in the press because we always get very negative press. But this is a fact. These are the signages. Because whenever you go to a government uh, 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 monument or mo any monument, you'll have signage which says a blue board, a red board, very simplistic board. But this board can be made very artistic, stylistic. Content can be from us. You fund it. Such boards can be. Put up, which are very illustrative. You don't have to read the content to understand. It, just by looking at things, you can understand. So we have tried and experimented at Bimbetka. We have some good cooperation with the forest department down the line with the DFOs there. But still, Saxena Sir can give me his inputs. We can cooperate at that level. At Raisal, you can see that our monuments are so good. A beautiful monuments. But you people, who do good work, do not see the project. And they show the things that are not working. अगर किसी मॉन्यूमेंट पे काम नहीं हो रहा है द मॉन्यूमेंट सेफ इट हैज विच टू द वेगरीज ऑफ नेचर फॉर चार सौ साल इट कैन विच स्टैंड वेगरीज फॉर फिफ्टी इयर्स मोर नथिंग विल हैपन बट लेट एस नॉट डू फॉल्टी वर्क लेट एस नॉट डू इंटरवेंशन विच इज नॉट मैचिंग द मॉन्यूमेंट सो जस्ट बिकॉज इट इज कमिंग द पेपर जस्ट बिकॉज द वी आई पी इज कमिंग टू साइड मैं जाके मॉन्यूमेंट साफ करने की कोशिश नहीं करूंगा अगर आप वेजिटेशन मॉन्यूमेंट से निकालते हैं वो वेजिटेशन को आपको उसको एड्रेस करना है उसको ठीक से लाइन सुर्खी से प्रिजर्व करने का है बट कभी कोई अच्छा इंपॉर्टेंट आदमी आता है हम जस्ट मॉन्यूमेंट से पूरा वो कर देते हैं उसके साथ ये रिमूव द फैब्रिक ऑफ द मॉन्यूमेंट हमको ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए नो वन इज अ वी आई पी स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ मॉन्यूमेंट विच इज इनरेट प्रॉपर्टी 
which is a personality of India, irrespective whether to which culture it belongs. It could be Islamic, it could be Brahminical, it could be Buddhist, it could be Jain, it could be prehistoric. So let us understand the total context of our heritage, where we can give our inputs, how much conservation needs to be done, leave it to the experts, but if we cooperate, if we coordinate, mostly so by the press, Today, we got a very good press coverage on the interpretation center at, at Bhimbetka, at, at Bhojpur. I thank the Helic Pastor for that. Then we never tried to market any individual. Here, we are trying to get the local community to understand. And I think tomorrow we are having a program where we are getting the ladies from the uh, uh, home to come and sing the song because we know the males will not come to us because so many take a notice on Kepa said. If we get the bache and the ladies towards us and explain them why we are doing it, I am sure within the next couple of years we will be able to have a good conducive atmosphere at, Bimbe, uh, at Bhojpur and similar other sites, maybe Sanchi. Well, this is all what we could do, basic amenities, the interpretation center. Uh, this is what I am talking about. Uh, well, I don't want to continue anymore. Thank you, ma'am, for inviting me. Thank you.